Hey guys, it's Lava Dude, and today we're going to be looking at a tier list that I have made of all of the tier 100 Fortnite skins. Now, a quick disclaimer, by all means, just because I say something is bad out of these tier 100 skins does not mean it's a bad skin. And also, you don't always have to agree on what I say, this is just my personal opinion. So, with that being said, let's get straight into this. Let's do this. Alright, so kicking us off, we have Black Knight, and obviously Black Knight is a classic tier 100 skin. Chapter 1, Season 2. Now, I would say this, I think Black Knight is honestly a super iconic skin, like he's really good, but Black Knight, you know, he, he's not as new as some of the other ones, he's kind of just got a really plain design. So, I was going to say A, but I think for me, Black Knight is going to stick into B. I don't think he's bad, but he's not like one of my favorites. Now moving on, we have the Reaper. This was the Season 3 skin. And I don't really like this one too much, to be honest with you. It was a crossover skin. So it was one of literally the most, the first crossover skins, even though it technically wasn't confirmed. But we did get a second John Wick, so this one kind of just is like, meh now. So I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to put him in the, sm the frowning face tier. As you can see, we have 5 star, which is the best. A, B, kind of like the mid tier. C, and then frowny face, which means it's not good. Moving on, we have Omega. This is one of my favorite tier 100 skins. I think he's going to go into 5 star, mostly because I loved the season 4 season so much. Like, it was really good. And he was just a banger skin. Next up, we have Ragnarok, the season 5 tier 100. Honestly, Ragnarok is also a 5 star. Both of these guys are really good, especially in their final forms. They look epic. Now, next up, we have the Season 6 Tier 100 skin, Dyer. This one, I don't know. I don't really feel it too much. He's not too cool for me. He wasn't that good. So, I think I'm going to put him into C. Just because, like, his first styles were absolutely terrible. But then the final one is kind of, like, meh anyway. So, I don't know. I just don't really feel it. Next up, we have Ice King. This one is really awesome. This is Ice King is an awesome skin i love him a lot but i think he's not as cool as some of the other ones so i am going to stick him into a didn't have as much unlockable styles so i think that's why i'm going to put him in that tier next up we have lux from season eight i mean honestly does lux even need like do i even need to explain it's just terrible it's one of the worst tier 100 skins ever to exist but next up we have season nine's tier 100 skin vendetta this guy is also really good. I don't think I would put him in a tier, like, the 5-star tier, but he is still really good. I'll give him a definite A tier. The robotic and stuff looks cool, and even the emo style, where he's just the regular guy, looks really cool, too. Moving on, we have Season X or Season 10, the Tier 100 skin, Ultimate Knight. Honestly, I think this is better than the regular Black Knight. I wouldn't put him in a 5-star, so I think I'm going to stick him in A, because I don't think he's a B but he is really cool. He's got way more styles than Black Knight. He even has Black Knight styles. He's like in red, gold, and silver, which looks just epic. So he's going to go into A tier for me. Next up, we have Fusion. Kind of a lackluster skin for, honestly, a lackluster season. Chapter 2, Season 1. Not really that good. I don't really like Fusion too much. I really just never rock this skin. So I think for me, he's going to go into C tier with Dyer. Next up, we have Midas. This is obviously a 5-star tier. Midas is amazing. My sister loves this skin. It's awesome. He looks cool. The Agency season was really good, too. So, definitely a really good Tier 100 skin. Next up, we have Eternal Knight. Chapter 2 Season 3 was also kind of a lackluster season. I didn't like it too much. So, I think I'm going to put her... Nah, I was going to put her in C... But honestly, her enlightened styles are like really, really cool with the red and the gold. So I think I'm going to stick her in B. Next up, we have the Chapter 2 Season 4 Tier 100 skin. We have Iron Man. Now, I'm going to be real with you, okay? I did not like this season too much. It just felt like a big advertisement for me. I know a lot of people were like split on it, but I was definitely one of the ones that did not like it too much. And it's really weird because I am a huge Marvel fan. I love comic books in DC and Marvel. So this was, I don't know, I just didn't really feel it. Iron Man for me was kind of like meh. I'm not a big Iron Man fan. He's just not really cool to me. So I think he's going to go into B tier. By all means, I don't think he's bad. But it's just kind of like meh. It's not really that good for me. But finishing us off, we have this current season, Chapter 2, Season 5's Tier 100 skin, Menace. 
Honestly, I'm really digging this guy. He kind of feels weird for me, though. Like, it, didn't, it doesn't really feel completely like a tier 100 skin. I don't know. It's just not, like, there. I was going to put him into B, but I feel like he's better than the B tier skins. I'll put him into an A, but he's definitely, like, on the border between those two. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe. And I would love to hear from you guys. Put it down in the comments what you think of this list. Did I rank it like you like it? Do you wish you could change some stuff? So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.